Welcome to the woodshop stop, friends. Today's build is going to be a update or modification to my existing workbench. I made this bench about two years ago, and I got the uh, idea on how to construct it from watching YouTube videos. Here I'm showing you a runner from a pallet which is white oak and it's solid wood. It's very heavy. I'm using this for the, the base and riser to lift the bench up. The bench just wasn't tall enough for me. There was too much bending over to work on it and it wasn't uh, very sturdy. So this should beef it up and make it a little bit heavier. I glued these runners on and I secured them with screws. The base was a little longer than I needed, so I decided to shorten it up by cutting these, uh, these rails. I shortened it up by about 10 inches, I think it was. Now here I'm adding the end piece onto the shortened runners. The convenient thing was that this workbench was put together with screws so I was able to unscrew where necessary. I originally hadn't planned on it but I've now decided to put a new top on this bench as well. The original cost of this bench was right around sixty to eighty dollars. Now to purchase a top I'm gonna to go with MDF that's gonna be about sixty two dollars for the top so the new cost of this bench will be roughly right around Here is the new top, one sheet of MDF, three quarters thick. I had them cut it up for me at Lowe's. Boy, was that a lot better. Here's the diagram that I used. Now it'll be a snap gluing these pieces together. I did have to rip one small piece for the last section to the bottom of the uh, bench top. I didn't want a whole lot of screws in this top, so I decided to glue the pieces together and then put one long screw in around the outer perimeter. That way I could remove them if I wanted to so I wouldn't drill into any in case I made modifications or added dog holes. But the total thickness of this bench is two and a quarter inches thick. It's not quite as thick as some of the benches that you see, but it should work just fine. 
I got the idea from Rob Cosman in Modern Woodworking or the Woodworking Magazine, I believe it was. They both believe that this is a great option for a top for a woodworking bench. So I'm going to give it a whirl. This should be a sturdy bench once I'm done. If anything, I may have to add some weight to it. But that's simple enough. A few sandbags if I need to. Hopefully I'll add a end vise or a face vise in the future. Along with dog holes so I can use dogs to uh, hold boards on the face. Here I'm just uh, lining up where I'm going to put my screws in. Now I'm pre-drilling the holes before I installed the screws. And I'm clamping everything tight so that I don't get any movement. Now I'm adding some weight to the center to help this glue down process. Now the bench is dry. I'm going to trim the end as well as trim along the length of the top as well. I did the length off camera so I don't have a recording of that. Now I'm sanding up uh, some of the imperfection saw marks on the ends. I decided to go with shellac on this. The MDF really absorbs the shellac. This is the bottom of the bench top. So I decided to do that first. And I'm only going to put one coat on that. But I'm doing the sides and ends as, as well. And I'm not liking how the, the ends and the sides are looking. I, I used a little bit of filler and I don't like it. So we're going to fix it. See, it has that sandwich look to it, and I don't care for that sandwich look. It looks unfinished, and I think uh, trimming it out, it'll be a much nicer look. I just ripped some pine that I had. I probably could have gone with hardwood, but the bench is pine mostly anyway, so... I'm just gluing and pin nailing it. 
So I won't have to have any uh, vice or, uh, excuse me, clamps or tape. And that's how it came out. And I'm just sanding and doing a little bit of uh, cleanup. Now I've started applying the shellac. And it's turning out pretty decent, I think. I'm liking how this is looking. And I did the base off camera. Now I'm laying out uh, the hole positions for the screws, the five inch screws that I'll use to hold the top to the base. Just using the center punch to uh, make a starting point for the drill. And I decided to use this uh, drill guide so I can get these holes drilled somewhat straight. With the drill guide, the uh, drill wouldn't go to depth, so I had to drill that after I started it. There you see it's coming through there. See, with the drill guide, it just doesn't reach. I needed a longer drill bit. But we figured out a way to get it done. Now I've got all the holes drilled and the, and the uh, top lined up on the base. Now I'm going back on the underside with a smaller drill bit for the uh, for a starting hole for the uh, screw. I decided to do it this way because the bench is getting to a point where it's a little heavier than I'd like to be uh, tossing around. So I decided I'd just reach underneath. It's not that big of a deal. Better on my back that way. Now I'm uh, applying the screws and they went in pretty good. I got some really good grab on them and it's it's holding that tight that top very tight And there's the uh, semi-finished product. I only say semi because I'll probably do some more to it. Like I said, I'll add a vise to it, possibly one, maybe two, and uh, maybe add drawers beneath. And uh, I like how that shellac turned out uh, on the base and the top. It uh, really dressed it up, I think. I 
I'd call it a success. It's much better than it was. I got a nice flat top and a decent looking bench. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell notification for future videos.